Thank you for using Drive Savers for your data recovery needs. In this video, we're going to show you how to restore your recovered iTunes library back to your computer. We're going to start with the folder on your desktop, which we copied from your external drive. If you do not have this folder on your desktop, please go back and review the backing up your recovery video to get to this step. We're now going to open this folder and we're going to reposition this window so that it takes up the top half of the screen. We're then going to go to File, New Finder Window, and reposition this window so it takes up the bottom half of the screen. In the top window, we're going to click on your job number, Macintosh HD, Users, your username, and the music folder. In here, you will find your iTunes folder. In the bottom window, we'll click on your username, and then Music Folder. You may or may not have an iTunes folder here in there, now, we'll address that in a moment. First, we want to make sure that iTunes is quit, and you can tell that by if there's a dot underneath the icon. If you see a dot there, click on the icon, go up to iTunes, and quit iTunes. And then the dot should disappear, showing that the program is closed. We'll be left with an iTunes folder. If you had music in there, then we would go ahead and rename this folder by slowly clicking twice on the text and then add a name to make it different. If there's no music in there, you could also just put that in the trash. We're going to now take our recovered iTunes folder from the top window and drag it down into the music folder on the computer. This now has an iTunes folder on your computer, and all you need to do is open iTunes, and then it will open your music. Now, if you have multiple iTunes libraries, or if you had an iTunes library somewhere else that you wanted to access, you can hold down the Option key, and then Starting iTunes, and it will bring up a Choose Library window. Here, you can click on Choose Library. It will open up a Finder window, and you just navigate to the library that you want to open, and when you click on that folder, hit Open, then it will open that particular library. It will also be set as your default library, so the next time you open iTunes, it will open that library. To change libraries, once again, go back to Option, click on the iTunes icon, and then choose a different library. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. If you still have some questions, you can visit our wiki page at wiki.drivesaversdatarecovery.com. On there, you'll find more information about restoring data to your computer, and if you still have some questions, please give us a call at 800-609-2301.